Welcome to Time for a Story. Tonight's theme is Wallingford Places. I am Susan Heisenga, Executive Director of WPA-TV, and we are in Studio W. Welcome to those of you who've come to share your stories, and uh, those of you with us out there on TV land that will hear this at another time. Studio W. Have any of you been in Studio W before tonight? Give me a show of hands. Hmm. So some of you are totally brand new. What do you think the W stands for? Wallingford. Yes, Studio in Wallingford. Studio W was once a hayloft in a cow barn circa 1924. It was transformed by volunteers into a black box theater and TV studio space. It is a space that belongs to all of Wallingford to use for their desires to perform, to have talk shows, to do a variety of things. It's the second floor of 28 South Orchard Street, which is WPAA-TV. When WPAA-TV discovered this property, we discovered many things about it. One of the things was that it had no structural walls. It also had a floor that sort of moved when you walked on it on the first floor level. And one of our volunteers noticed exactly where the cows would have been standing and quite frankly crapping based on the way the floor was designed. A very noticeable thing was that there was no plumbing on the first floor, yet this had been a business establishment for many decades in Wallingford. Looked a little further, found out that it needed to be fully retrofitted for electrical because it wasn't safe. So when the volunteers decided upon this building, they had no idea how long the list of to-dos would be to make it a adaptive space for television. You know, fully do electrical, fully do plumbing. We knew that we needed to be an accessible space, which meant access to all functions that we perform here. So there would need to be a handicap ramp. We knew there would need to be a fire escape, which is this way. We knew that there were some basic things we would need to do. And for TV, we would need to be able to have racks to hang lights. But we had no idea, truly, how much needed to be done to create this space as a community place for those of you that might visit. So as the theme is Places in Wallingford, I wanted to give a little backstory about the very place that we are in tonight, Wallingford Public Access TV. Many people walk by and assume it's a radio station. I've heard that so many times. Oh, I've walked by and I thought it was a radio station. Why? because it starts with a W. Okay. A lot of things start with a W that aren't radio stations. And I say, but it says TV at the <laughs> end. And they say, oh yeah, I never noticed. I said, did you notice that there was a mural on the side of the building? Oh yeah, I did notice that. A tiger. Why is there a tiger on the side of the building? I said, because we needed to solve a problem of blight. We literally never saw that side of the building when we bought it. We only own 18 inches out in that direction. And we had windows that were still covered with plywood. So we needed to solve a problem. R.C., who did the mural, was very determined to make a tiger. So now Hercules graces WPA-TV. Occasionally, members of the community grace WPA-TV. WPA TV is a walling for your place that we'd like more of you to get to know. We look forward to you coming by sometime. And there are more stories to tell about this place, but I'll let you get them when you come in and visit and have the tour. Here uh, was really one that looked more like something out of a horror film. So the entire downstairs was gutted and reconfigured based on a plan uh, conceived of and approved by the volunteer team. 